And Stellar Entertainment News, the founder and CEO of Splice, Lyo Gubangu, has launched at Old Beauty and wellness providers in Lagos to increase their collaboration, sharing, and also networking in order to unlock growth opportunities. The Gubangu will make these remarks while addressing participants at the Splice uh, Organized Beauty Connect Africa 2024 event in Lagos. Plus, TV correspondent Love Oyedokun tells us more in this report. Beauty Connect Africa 2024 is a spectacular celebration of beauty and innovation, bringing together a dynamic mix of beauty professionals and entrepreneurs from across the globe. The event provided a valuable platform for emerging and established talents to connect with industry leaders, facilitating mutually beneficial learning opportunities and access to tools and financial instruments designed to stimulate business growth. It kicked off with a captivating opening address delivered by Layo Ogubawo, which set the tone for the day's proceedings. We very are in the same industries that do the same services, but there's no reason why you can't work together. Um, I know that sometimes as Nigerians, we like, we like to guard our territory but like your sauce is your sauce. So even if I'm doing lashes and she's doing lashes, how she does it is going to be different from how I do it. Notable figures, including the founder of Oriki Group, Joyce Awosika, Samuel Josephs, and Oluremi Martins, took turns to expose the beauty professionals to sustainable practices in the industry. What do your customers love? What's important to them? Is it saving time? Is it efficiency? Is it the quality of the products you use? And then make sure you're continuously upping the ante on that particular thing. So it goes down to knowing your customers. So whether you're in beauty or any industry, the key is to get customers coming back. That's the key. Panel of discussions delved into the future of beauty, exploring topics such as the integration of AI in beauty diagnostics and the role of social media in shaping beauty standards. Another area is uh, around the staff. I think that all of us can talk to some of the challenges that we have with recruitment of staff and retention of staff. What kinds of retention and recruitment strategies do you have? To have a manager in place that is literally so separate from the actual stylist and they literally do not even touch the client's hair. Like my managers, I have two managers and none of them touch the client's hair. I have people that are dedicated to just providing the service Anything that's going on the back end, you, don't know, you do not have to know. The organizers prioritized issue of mental health and Funta Ogumbawu provided self-care tips to the beauty entrepreneurs on how to navigate the challenges of managing clients while maintaining their own well-being. If we don't take regularly scheduled breaks, if we don't, you know, just learn things that trigger us and even have like boundaries with our clients, like, okay, I'm not going to work on these certain days or, you know, I'm only available for, you know, certain days. Like some beauty services, they are closed on Mondays, right? Because they've worked Tuesday through Sunday. Um, that's their own way of taking care of themselves. So it's absolutely important because if you don't do it, it's the same way not taking care of your physical health will have a negative impact on you. It's the same way that if you don't take care of your mental health, it will have a negative impact on you as a person and also your business as well. We have learned so many to take home, to work as an entrepreneur, to work as a business owner, and to scale more of my business. A lot of take home first from Samuel's talk where you talk about branding and all of that, finding a solution before you, you know, re release a product or release a service, you need to have a solution. Someone talk about talk to us about branding, about marketing, about mental wellness, and as an entrepreneur in Nigeria, you have to be well balanced. Showcases the African beauty industry's remarkable talent and innovation, highlighting his impressive past achievements. It also sets a stage for an exciting future, brimming with limitless possibilities. Love Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.